What's up everybody, Rob Anderson here, magician in Las Vegas. Doing a little bit of street magic tonight out on the strip and uh, I just met up with uh, Brian right here and Michelle and uh, they came in from San Antonio, Texas. I'm gonna show them a little bit of magic. You two, uh, I know you're a couple, obviously. You look, you look great today. I walked up to them because they look so good. Both of them do. How, how long have you two been together? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Correct. Yeah. You ask the woman Correct. Don't yeah. Ask the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Me in trouble. Good job, Brian. Good job. Uh, four and a half years ago, you guys went on some of your first dates then. Got to know each other, held hands. I want to take you back to some of those first dates or that first trick, okay? Oh, all right. Brian, could you hold your right hand out just like this? Michelle, could you hold your right hand out just like this? We're gonna get a couple of cards here. I'm gonna hand you a card first. It'll be the uh, the king of spades is gonna be the card for this. I'm gonna put the king inside your hand there, Brian. And Michelle, your hand will go on top of that card in his hands. So you're gonna be holding hands kind of like on some of those first dates you two had. I'm stepping back, I wasn't there. Romance, <laughs> romance bloom. Romance bloom though on those dates. Romance is gonna bloom tonight because I got some hearts right there. Got the hearts which are better for you two to have. I think you should have that. I want you to have the hearts. You feel the hearts when they tap right there, yes? That's great. You feel the hearts when they tap the bottom of there, yes? I think the hearts are better for you to have. I'm going to take out the king and switch those two. <laughs> Look at what you have. Look at your card. Oh, the hearts. That's, that's good. I like that. I wanted you to have that. That's great. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do another one. Let's do it. I made a little prediction before I came out here. I took some cards out of the deck. So you know what? I'm going to take the queens out of the deck, all four queens. I'm going to do something special with them, I said, and I'm going to show you right here what I got. I have got all four queens in my hand, something special about one of them. I made a prediction in advance, okay? okay. Michelle, I want you to cup your hand like mine is, and you're going to hold on to these cards. Just don't let them blow away or fall. Okay. Uh, you're holding the four queens. I'm committed to that prediction because I can't touch the cards. No right. sleight of hand here. I'm committed there. You two are about to work together for this part, proving your compatibility. <laughs> compatibility. It's going to work great. Uh, Brian, you're first. Imagine the four queens, hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Two are, two are red and two are black. Imagine that. And imagine if I remove one color from Michelle's hand, please tell us in a nice, clear voice, which color do you imagine me removing from her hand, red or black? Red. It's an interesting choice. Very good choice, actually. The red cards. Fitting, <laughs> fitting. Could have known that one. I don't know this, though. Uh, Michelle, we've got the red cards, heart and diamond. The heart and the diamond are the red cards. You're going to keep either one of those. Which one would you like to keep, the heart or the diamond? Diamond. Very interesting. Usually ladies say queen of hearts is their favorite card in the deck, but the queen of diamonds is the one you're choosing. I made a prediction earlier. I said, you know what? I feel like they're going to get down to the queen of diamonds. It's the only one I have there face up for you. It's the only one I took out, uh, not of a red, but a blue deck of cards. Totally different deck of cards. That's how sure I was of what you would do. And it's the only one that uh, told you told you a little white lie there. I told you you were holding those four queens, but really you were only holding that diamond. That was all you were holding the entire time. Didn't bring anything else out here with me. Wow, nice job. You two work well together. That's great. I'm glad that worked. That deserves more yeah. class than the fountain. Yes. Sure. Thank you. See that? Better than the fountain show. Let's go to my website. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more, all right? Um, help me out. Help me out, Michelle. I would like you to think, just think of a happy memory that you've made with Brian, okay? Could be anything. I am not going to try to figure it out or guess it or say what it is. Could be anything. Okay, anything. We're not going to reveal it's this. It's just, on YouTube. Okay. just yeah, it's going to go on YouTube for everybody. Millions of views forever. No, 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 no. It's just for you to know. I'm not going to try to guess it or figure it out. I just want you to think about a time you felt happy with this guy. Great guy right here for the past four and a half years. I want you to see. There's a Rolodex she's got to go through, which is good. Right, right. See, I can see her going through. But do you have one? I do. That's great, Michelle. I'd like you to think back and just think about where you were. Think about what you were doing. But most importantly, think about the time that this memory happened to the nearest hour. Kind of like as if, it, as if you could picture a round clock over Brian's head. Seeing in your mind all of the numbers between one and 12 on that clock, just please think about the number that's closest to the hour that this happened. Can you do that for me? Yeah. So right now you're thinking of a number between one and 12 that only you know, correct? All right. Three o'clock, two o'clock, and one o'clock. Again, one all the way around the clock to 12 o'clock. I know you're thinking of one of the times on this clock. I have to figure out what that is. I am going to try to figure that out by reading your mind. Good luck. <laughs> have you tried to do this? Oh, yeah. if any guy figures out how to do that, they're going to be a billionaire. All right then. Hey, Chris Angel style, we're going to step it up. Here we go, Michelle. All right. I'm kidding. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Good. Something was happening. Good. 
You let your guard down, you chuckled, and you glanced down at the table. Sort of like a poker player gives a tell, gave me an idea of where you may be thinking of. I'm going to eliminate some cards. Okay. The number is obviously, it's either a low number or a high number that you're thinking of right now. Okay. There was a guilty glance away right after I said high number, as if she didn't want me to know something about that. I'm going to say that I can get rid of one through six, because you're not thinking of one through six. You are, you are thinking of somewhere between seven through 12, yes or no? 50-50 shot there, but we got that one, all right. <laughs> seven through 12 could be your number, and she is definitely going to do a poker face now on this one. But I know it's between seven and 12 here. I think she's trying to throw me off by saying, yeah, I need a higher end. It wasn't, it wasn't seven. I, I'm gonna say, yeah, there was, no, there was no tell down at seven. It wasn't seven. Ooh, okay. Eight through 12, I'm going to commit to this number you're thinking of right now. Eight, nine, 10, 11, or 12 could have been your number. It could have been anywhere between there on the low or the high end. Eight, nine, or 10, or 11, or 12. Eight, or nine, or 10, or 11, or 12 could be your number, and I'm going to commit. See the giggling? I'm going to commit. This number you're thinking of right now, Michelle, I believe is not nine o'clock. Or eight, or any of these, you're thinking of 12 right now, yes? Yes. Whew. Thank you so much for watching the magic tonight. I appreciate it. After I leave here, let Brian know later on what that special 12 o'clock memory was. <laughs> and for now, I'll leave the 12 o'clock uh, card with you as a souvenir right here. And you and I are going to look at this together. And hey, that turned out to be a great card, Brian. Uh -huh, I'll tell you what, whenever you're ready, you show Michelle that card That's when awesome. you're ready, OK? How'd you guys do that? Oh my god, babe. You're not going to believe it. Check it out. Oh my god. <laughs> ben. We started our uh, journey quite literally with our first date on top of the world. I think uh, we can stay there with a little bit of hard work with each other. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of uh, bets being placed here in Vegas. But I think you're the best bet. And uh, I'm betting on eternity, so will you marry me? Yes. 